Hello, my name is Richard van Roost and I'm about to show you how to create this. And maybe the best thing is, I'm only gonna use Blender. This 10 part tutorial series will focus only on visual effects. Therefore, we won't be doing any modeling, we won't be doing any animation, we just focus on the visual effects tricks that Blender has to offer, such as rigid body physics, the cell fracture add on and the bullet constraints tools, creating particle systems for debris, image based lighting, compositing the shadows and reflections into the environment, render layers and render passes. Now I will show you the scene where I will be building upon from part 1. So this is the blend file we start with. Let me show it to you. It contains a pre-modeled robot. I got this from blendswap.com. As you can see here it's made by Fathom45 and it's an awesome model which, which is pre-animated um, in terms of where it starts as a robot and it goes to a car. But I used this model and I pre-animated it to this, this landing. So you don't have to bother about this, you can just download this file and start from here. And what you also can see is this pre-tracked camera we have here. I'm not going to cover tracking in this tutorial because I uh, got this from a website called BlendedSkies.com and Blended Skies uh, sells pre-tracked footage which is tracked in Blender so you when you buy footage you get the footage itself and a blend file where the the shot is tracked so that's very useful to save time and to just test stuff so um, I took this first shot it's it looks kind of boring actually but I wanted to use this shot because I want to show you guys how to composite reflections onto this ground. This is a wet ground because of the rain and we can see here there's a lot of reflections from everything. So I wanted to show you guys how to do this because I got a lot of questions uh, lately on how, how I did this in one of my other shots. So that's why I, I took this shot and we also can see there's this little kid walking here and it's just playing in the rain. Some people thought it was a grown-up and they uh, they were commenting about my, the size of the car that was way too big because they, th they thought this was a grown-up but no this is just a kid so th the car is a pretty decent size I think. Another thing I took from this website is a, in the related products this panorama. I'm gonna use this to uh, to map it onto a sphere and the sphere will be the light source of the shot so it exactly matches the environment it's uh, not raining here though so it's a little different but still it's a really accurate way to use as a light source so this is the, the panorama we are gonna use and you can just when you download the project files of the tutorial it will be included as well as the shot of course so that's all about what we're gonna start with this tracked uh, camera which is really stable and this pre-animated robot and we can focus on integrating the two of those 
So I hope I see you guys in part one.